Hygiene in surgery is vital for patient safety. Surgical site infections are a burden, increasing average hospital stays. Average of 9.4% of patient costs are related to infections. Airborne particles in operating rooms are challenging to control. Every operating room should have an efficient airflow system. It's a vital part of hygiene, with air designed to pass the patient only once. Any activity inside the operating room increases particle load. Surgical lights are placed in the center of the clean airflow. Surgical lights that are based on a solid block light head can distract or even reverse the vital clean airflow, which could increase the risk of infections. So how do we maximize clean airflow functionality? According to the CDC guidelines in the United States, disinfection and sterilization can help. Hand hygiene is important, isolation precautions, and environmental infection control. Optimally, surgical lights should have an open ring light head design, allowing unobstructed flow of clean air, maximizing clean air flow performance, and reducing the possibility of infections. Let's compare airflow behavior of a solid block light design and an open ring design, such as the Q-Flow. The solid block light on the left is actually reversing the airflow and creating large turbulence underneath the light, which can lift up particles from the non-sterile area into the surgical site, increasing the risk of a surgical site infection. But on the right, in the aerodynamic design Q-flow, it presents only minimal turbulence and no changes in the airflow direction, allowing full efficiency of clean airflow. Less particles in the surgical site equals lower risk of surgical site infections. Uh -huh.